basic layout. Bookstore, cafe, almost everything else is here, too. Who are the people? Projections of my subconscious. Yours? Yes. Remember, you are the dreamer. You build this world. I am the subject. My mind populates it. You can literally talk to my subconscious. That's one of the ways we extract information from the subject. How else do you do it? By creating something secure like a like a bank vault or a jail, the mind automatically fills it with information it's trying to protect. Understand? Then you break in and steal it. Well. I guess I thought that the dream space would be all about the visual, but it's more about the feel of it. My question is, what happens when you start messing with the physics of it all? thinking to yourself, where's the organic chemistry in this? Well, it's time to go deeper. Besides there being several organic molecules and compounds, albeit invisible, which constitute the people and things in that video, there's an even more direct way in which we see organic chemistry in action, and that's in the color you see. In this video, we will be discussing alkanes, alkenes, conjugation, conjugated compounds, conjugated pi bonds, and finally, how this all comes together to explain color. Alkanes are compounds of carbon and hydrogen that contain only single bonds. Some examples of these are methane, a compound which has one carbon and four hydrogens, and butane, which has four carbons and ten hydrogens. Alkenes are also hydrocarbons, except now there is at least one carbon-carbon double bond present. When there are alternating single and double bonds, one would tend to get something called conjugation, or a series of overlapping p orbitals. One special property of conjugated compounds is their increased stability. There are two main theories as to why there is this increased stability. The first is the valence bond theory, and the second is the molecular orbital theory. Valence bond theory can be explained like this. Carbon-carbon bonds from alkanes form sigma overlap of sp3 orbitals. However, in conjugated compounds, the central carbon-carbon bond results from the sigma bond overlap of sp2 orbitals. This sp2 orbital has a higher s orbital characteristic, 33%, which is higher than a normal sp3 bond, which is usually 25%. This higher characteristic means that the bonds are shorter and stronger and therefore more stable. Molecular orbital theory states that the increased stability of a conjugated compound arises due to the interaction between the pi orbitals of the two double bonds. When two p orbitals combine to form a pi bond, Two molecular orbitals result, a bonding and an antibonding orbital with a node in between. In conjugated compounds, the pi electrons only occupy the low energy bonding orbitals. This results in a more stable bond between the atoms. Moreover, when a compound is conjugated, there is a partial double bond that forms between the double bonds, which adds on to the stability. This is why 1,3-butadiene is stable and 1,4-pentadiene is not. The double bonds in the 1,4-pentadiene are simply too far apart to form this extra stability. So how does this all relate with color? Why is it that there are some organic compounds that we see and have color while others don't? Well, color is dependent on the chemical structure of the molecule and the way people perceive light. The visible region of light is from 400 to 800 nanometers, and it's adjacent to the ultraviolet region, which is light we can't see. Compounds with color have an extended system of conjugation, which allows their UV absorptions to extend so that it's no longer in the UV range, but in the visible light range. This extension is what allows us to see color. 
A compound would typically absorb one specific wavelength and reflect all others. An example of this is in beta carotene in carrots. Beta carotene absorbs blue light, which is 400 to 500 nanometers, and reflects all other light, which we perceive as orange. Conjugation is not only crucial in the color of organic compounds, but in our visual system as well. Conjugated compounds are important parts to rod cells, which are used to see in dim light and seeing in general. So, next time you watch a movie like this stuff, try to go a little bit deeper. Think about it. There's no organic chemistry in every place. Something, isn't it? Yes, it is.